Good morning. I'm the TAC coordinator and the AV Robots project coordinator on robotics and computational thinking at our school. Our school, uh, let me tell you about it. This is placed in the South Urgell in northwestern part of Catalonia, public school with 400 students with 34 teachers. And we have always considered ourselves to be an innovative and pioneering school with new technologies where we wanted always to be up to date, knowing that this is so important and we need to be in line with society. And not sure if every school is fortunate in the, as we are in that we have a close relationship with the parent teacher association so that we can invest on projects so that we might be a little more different than other schools it's true that our robotics and competitional project is still at its infancy we started this last year we through full implementation to three to 12 years and this year we are consolidating so that on next year we will be enhancing this. Again, this wouldn't be possible unless we had the engagement of people that have thrown their heads in. On the one hand, the leaders, then the teachers, there are five of us where we work all throughout the school, but then we have also 16 more people that are being trained so that they can participate directly on this project and that they are telling us that they want to do that both in the classroom including the curriculum but also with the robotics subject that we do with the participation of all students and the parent teacher association the pta that has been generous in providing 90 percent of the financial resources required in order to perform this project and moving it forward. What do we do? So here you can see this clip. We have the B-Bot on preschool education, three to five years. We also work on with Learn to Learn on first gadgets, then on the second of primary school, we work on simple devices that will be a stepping stone to robotics. Then on third and fourth of primary, we work with LEGO 2.0, when we also work with Scratch Junior, and working on modification, modification of patterns, we sh bring and share. This is our motto. They make, they share, they change and modify. So there is a win-win situation here. Then on uh, primary fifth, we work with motor, with motor simple machines so that we can draw on simple conclusions here, for instance, with gears, polys, and all these. And we also work with Scratch once more. These are motor machines that can really take some time. Then on year seven, we work on the sixth grade, we work with the Mindstorms project, which worked really well. And it was, we were a bit cautious in introducing these into the classroom because we do have a robotics subject where all girls and boys perform this work on this subject where we are seeing a significant progress, by the way. Then the USEE, meaning attention to diversity, the, folk, the, the potential, the power of robotics and working on computational thinking for these type of students, both in and outside the classroom, is really spectacular. We also work during break times, uh, whenever it's raining and also, and most importantly, you need your peers to be really thinking into it and be fully engaged. And for that, we provide this training to teachers. Again, this is fully integrated into our curriculum. We the set schedule that we meet from September down to June. And we work with split classrooms, because otherwise, with a full classroom, it would be too hard for us. And again, this is not just a smoke screen, but indeed there is a very clear 
target because there will be a full assessment for all students on their knowledge of the environment, for instance. But all in all, it's an ideal also work when focusing on children with a special need and also with the possibility on providing that for boys and girls outside the classroom. Again, this impact has been huge. It all started last year. We were being asked to partner with the Andorra University and to go there and showcase the experiences in robotics. Then, as of last year, we attended a speech at the City Lab in Cornellà to introduce our project. We thought it would be interesting to see how some other schools might be interested in the way we approach things. And this year we have been asked to provide one more lecture on that, but also focusing on how to provide what we call attention to diversity, because it's simply outstanding uh, to see how these children experience things in the classroom. They see how they better. And indeed, the improvement, it's amazing. So we will be providing a lecture on this and also at the Learn 2017 in June, we provided the lecture together with the University of Andorra. And we also have been featured at the magazine called On Robotics and Education, where we have been asked to participate. And we are now in two different programs, one by the Catalan Ministry of Education with the use of new technologies, and then on the company that Cisco Systems chose us to work on the Internet of Things famous IOT and then we also participated the first Lego League Junior providing opportunities for children between six to nine years and then